turn! Hey viewers, my name's Kara, and if you are approximately my exact age, approximately exactly my age, happy Saturn return! This video is being recorded on Sunday, even though my goal is to post a weekly video on Friday or Saturday, because life is unpredictable and chaotic. I don't know why I'm just stating random facts, but that's not why this video is late. This video is late because I recorded a video Friday that I was going to upload on Saturday, but it's kind of an update informational video, and I started thinking, oh, I feel bad making this the weekly video. You know, I feel like the weekly videos should be topical, so I should do something else for this weekend, and I can post the informational update thing midweek and make that an extra video. That's kind of the format I'm going for. Like midweek I'll post occasional old vlogs and things that you haven't seen yet, stuff like that. Unless there is a monthly update that is my big topic video of the week. But that's not what this one is. So I decided to save that one for midweek and do something new. And then what happened yesterday was I learned something really cool that I wanted to talk about and it kind of snowballed into a big brainstorming session and I then spent the entire rest of the day yesterday planning and brainstorming and going through all this other stuff. So I'm recording this on Sunday. Now as you can tell from the title and the introduction, this video is about Saturn return. Ooh. So for those of you who don't know, your Saturn return is an astrological thing. It's a thing with your birth chart and your zodiac and all that kind of fun stuff that not everybody believes in, but some people do. When the planet of Saturn makes its full orbit around the sun and comes back to the position that it was in when you were born. It's called your Saturn return. On your birthday every year, you're experiencing your solar return. The time that the sun is in the same place relative to Earth that it was when you were born. I guess technically since we're orbiting around the sun, it should be called something related to Earth like your Earth return. But it's relative to us, so it's the place in the solar year that you come back to. It's your birthday. It's your solar return. This is your Saturn return. For those of you who have heard about it, you've probably heard that it happens when you're around age 29 or 30 and that it involves some huge life changes. Now, I'm currently 26. I will be 27 later this year. But I have already felt like I've been experiencing a lot of these changes and a lot of the energies of this since I was like 25 and I thought that's really weird. That's pretty early to be experiencing this if it happens when I'm 29. The reason that they say it happens when you're 29 is that Saturn takes 29.5 years of our calendar years, our measurement, to fully orbit the sun. So you're about 29 or 30 when it comes all the way back to the relative place in the sky that it inhabited at the moment that you were born and the place you were born and then, you know. But what I learned yesterday, someone in one of the groups that I'm in online asked for information about Saturn returns, like didn't know anything about it, wanted some information. So I googled it and shared some links with them. Sometimes people just don't know what links they can trust if they don't know about something. So I found a couple articles, read through them, posted them to this group, and then I found one that includes a chart of when Saturn enters each zodiac sign. Now because Saturn takes 29 and a half years to get all the way around the sun, it spends two and a percentage, two and a fraction years, shy of three years, in every zodiac sign. And then of course when it experiences retrograde motion, it might go back into the previous zodiac sign for a little bit before it returns direct motion going through the zodiac. For those of you who are really unfamiliar with astrology, I'm sorry that I'm tossing all these different vocabulary terms in here. If you Google it real quick, you will find easy answers. But retrograde is just what it's called when it looks like the planet is moving backwards in its orbit because of the way it is relative to Earth. You can look it up and find like GIFs of it online that show you what it is. Planets never actually stop and back up and move the other direction. It just looks like they do from our perspective. Anyway, since it spends so much time in each zodiac sign, there's a big window that Saturn is within whatever zodiac sign it was in when you were born. So I looked at this chart and it made me realize my Saturn is in Capricorn. Capricorn happens to be ruled by Saturn, so that's just extra fun. My Saturn is in Capricorn, but so is everyone's who was born in the year that I was born, 1990. And so is everyone 
who was born in 1989. And so is everyone who was born during most of the year 1988, except for a chunk of time in the middle of 1988 when it was retrograde and went back into Sagittarius. And so are people born in January or up to February 5th of 1991. So from November of 1988, to the beginning of February of 1991, and a little bit of at the beginning of 1988, all of those people have Saturn in Capricorn in their birth charts, and probably also Neptune and Uranus too, because they're all large orbit planets. So I know mine are all the same. My Pluto is different. What does that mean? Why is that significant? Well, according to this chart, the next time after 1988 to 1991 that Saturn returns all the way back around to the sign of Capricorn is December of 2017. And that's when I realized, sure, it might take 29 and a half years for Saturn to return to the exact place that it was in, in your birth chart, but it could potentially be entering the sign that it was in when you were born earlier. So Saturn returns to the sign of Capricorn when I will be 27, not when I'm 29 or 30. Some people, those who were born in January of 1991, they'll be 26 when that happens. And those who were born in the end of 1988 will be 29. So there's actually a range that all of us who had our Saturn in Capricorn when we were born during that age range, we could be anywhere from 26 to 29 when it returns to the sign of Capricorn and we start feeling those energies and then it stays there for over two years. So it will remain in Capricorn until I'm 29, and then it returns into Capricorn in retrograde motion for a little bit around the time that I will turn 30. Then we won't see Saturn come back around to Capricorn again until our late 50s going into our 60s, because it happens about every 30 years. Why is this so interesting to me? Why is this cool? Well, it explained a lot for me because I felt like I've already been going through these changes and I thought that it's not really supposed to happen until I'm 29 or 30. And I know that things in astrology don't happen at an exact moment. Like, now it's in place, now it's gone. There's overlap, right? Even within the zodiac signs of your sun sign, what some people consider just your star sign or your birth sign, we know that there's something called a cusp that there are dates where we consider that up until this date the sun is in one sign and the next day it's in the next sign. But if you were born on one of those days, you're right next to the cusp of the other or you're on the cusp of the next sign. So sometimes that other sign that's really close to you can have an effect. We see the same thing with the astrological ages when we talk about the world moving into the age of Aquarius, the age of Pisces. There's a long overlap. It's not necessarily like, oh, this year we're all of a sudden in this age we start to feel the effects of things. Just like you can hear a siren faintly when it starts coming up the street and it gets louder and louder and louder until it's here and then you still hear it fading away and fading away until it's all, with, all the way gone. It's only right in front of you for this span of time, but you can hear the effects leading up to and leading out of that main event. Is that a good metaphor? I think I just came up with a really good analogy. So the reason that's significant is that I thought, okay, I'm going on 27, so maybe I'm starting to feel the effects now, but why have I already been feeling the effects, it seems like, for two years? So realizing that Saturn will actually come back into the sign that it was in when I was born, when I'm only going to be 27, explained a lot for me, because that means that these past couple of years beforehand are part of that lead up to that event, and it'll continue through the time that I'm 30. So that's why they say you can feel the effects into your early 30s. It depends on when you were born in that range of time that Saturn was in the sign that it was in during your birth. It's just not something I had ever really looked up before. And when I learn these things, I think, oh my gosh, that's so cool. We take these things for granted, right? I've always just thone, known, thought and known, thone, that it happens when I'm 29. And I've just been, you know, expecting it to not happen yet. But it's happening. <laughs> and if you were born at the end of 1988, or actually most of 1988, but not right in the middle, or in 1989, or in 1990, or in the first 36 days of 1991's calendar year, then it's happening for you too! Congratulations, and I'm sorry. <laughs> so what happens during your Saturn return? There are a bunch of articles that you can look up online. I can put some links in the description to the ones that I found. They describe some of the things that you might be experiencing and going through. One of them, I think it's the one that has the chart of when it goes into which sign, 
also gives you a little bit of how it might be affecting you depending on what sign your Saturn is in. So any of you who aren't in this age range right now and maybe aren't going through your Saturn return right now, but you will be in the future or you already did go through one and you're going to be going through another one later. Maybe you've already been through two and hopefully you will experience your third. You can all look up your birth chart to find out what sign your Saturn is in and then find out what that kind of says about what you would experience when Saturn returns in for you. For me, it's a lot about career. Career. It's generally a lot about career. Career is a big thing that changes a lot in people's lives when these energies change. It's also just a lot about pushing boundaries and generally about getting you back on track with what you're supposed to be doing with your life and your life's purpose. And purpose is something that I've been working with a lot this year already for the past couple of months. So again, this just helped solidify a lot of the things that I've already been working on. It's a lot about going back to basics, going back to the path that you started off on, right? Over the 20-ish, 30-ish years, you might have veered a little bit from your course and this is kind of like forcing you shifting back to your purpose and what you're supposed to be doing. And I know that that's what I'm going through and I've been experiencing changes from it. You guys watched my videos about my shifts a couple years ago that I talked about. All of that feels like it was part of that, that I've been going through these changes in preparation already. Relationships ending, jobs ending, jobs changing, getting rid of people in my life, new people entering my life, all of these things. It can suck. It can be really awful, but it's also for the greater good overall. And I know that I have had a lot of my friends and my peers talking about going through stuff like this for the past couple of years too. So any of you who are right in my age group, hey, Saturn return. Okay, Kara, rude. It's not just people in your age range. Sorry, everyone. Of course, some of you are going through your second return right now, too. So I looked up those dates. If you were born between January 5th, 1959 and January 2nd, 1962, this December of 2017 will be your second return. Your Saturn is also in Capricorn. And people aged 85 to 88 whose Saturn is also Capricorn will be going through their third Saturn return this December. They were born between March 15th, 1929 to May 4th, 1929, and then it went retrograde into another sign for a little bit, and then Capricorn was back November 29th of 1929 to February 22nd of 1932, and from August to November of 1932, it came back into Capricorn in retrograde. So it's not just people in my age range. I know that Charlie from Pick and Perspective is experiencing their Saturn return. They mentioned it in a video that I requested. I think it was this past November, I could be wrong. And a lot of you may be as well, or you might be about to experience it, you know, within a few years, or you might have just experienced one. So check out the articles that I will link in the description to get some more information about that. If anything, it might just help you feel a little bit more at ease with all the crap that might be going on in your life because now you understand it's it's just Saturn getting you back on track and you're not alone and the world doesn't just hate you. It hates all of us. No, I'm kidding. It, <laughs> it cares so much about all of us that it's making sure we don't forget who we are and what we're doing. So that's the end of the topical part of this video. This last part is just kind of an idea that I had from here that I want to throw out to all of you and gauge interest. As you know, I've been mentioning recently that I really want to create courses, more kind of private working, not necessarily one-on-one, -on -one, but smaller group dynamics, maybe with some one-on-one -on -one components, working on something. And I've had a lot of different ideas, but I'm not just sure how to implement them yet or when's the best time to do some because, you know, there are some things that magically speaking could be better suited by doing them at a certain time, right? Building up our correspondences. So I've had lots of ideas, I have lots of notes, I have a few different courses that are like in process. I'm just trying to figure out kind of the best way to offer them, the best way to implement them. But what came to me yesterday as I was going through all this thought process about Saturn returns and realizing that this is what's happening and that it re-enters Capricorn at the end of this year and so everybody who is my age is going through this right now, 
and others of you will be in the future, and others of you maybe already have once and will be again. It occurred to me that this would be a really cool theme for me to create some work around for us to do together, right? While we're actually going through this thing, or while you're preparing to go through it in the future. And this is absolutely something that could be done more than once, so if I offer it now, I could offer it again in a couple of years when the next group of you are going through your return. So what I'm envisioning is a course that takes place over a, a number of months. I'll work out all the details when I figure out how many people are going to be involved and things like that. But something that will span out a little bit of time and maybe have a lesson, a mini course lesson, like a workshop, if you will, on something related to dealing with and going through your Saturn return every couple of weeks. So it would give you a couple of weeks to go through the lesson and implement it. We would have time to all chat and give feedback in between there. And it would cover just lots of different aspects of work that could be around the things that are happening during your Saturn return and the kinds of things that might be going on in your life. So using that as kind of not the intention, but the theme around which we work. And I would include things Things like there would be energy work to deal with this and there might be a tarot exercise to deal with this there might be guided meditations to deal with this journaling and writing exercises art projects rituals to help you transition through different things you know just anything magically to get into this space using this as the theme and knowing that at least a big chunk of the people who will be involved will probably be going through this right now or about to go through it I think that is so cool. So that just really helped me to know, like, this is a great idea to do right now. But Kara, Saturn doesn't return to the sign of Capricorn until December, so why do you want to do it now? Well, girl, do you really want to wait until you are in the thick of it to learn how to deal with it? Or do you want a toolbox before you go and try to build that birdhouse of Saturn? You know? <laughs> yeah, this is a toolbox, and absolutely, if you are someone who is my age, like I said, it enters the sign of Capricorn in December, but we are already going through it, and probably already have been, for a while. So I could probably actually offer this twice before we even get to December, so anyone who can't do it right now, maybe you could do it the next time later in the year, and then we've all got this beautiful toolbox of things before December comes that you can use all throughout those next two and whatever 2.67 or whatever amount of years it is. So that's my idea, that's what I'm thinking, and I think that that also helps you guys get an idea of the kinds of things that I've been thinking about. This is what I mean when I talk about courses and workshops. Taking something like a book to use as the theme, or doing like a book club type thing, or just doing a, a basics course or a focused course about going through your Saturn return. A focused course about chakra work. I don't know. Whatever it may be. So hopefully this helps you get an idea of that kind of thing that I'm looking to do. And I would also love to know your feedback on this particular idea. Let me know, are you going through your Saturn return right now? Have you been through one? Are you about to go through one in the next few years? You know, after this current one? And what is your level of interest in working on something like this with me? In a slightly more than open to the entire internet public and 17,000 subscribers and the whole world. You know, slightly more private than that. <laughs> How cool would that be? How much do you want to do that? So you can either let me know in the comments of this video or message me privately. I don't typically read the YouTube messages as much because I don't get notifications about them. I have to go in and find them on the computer. But if you have Facebook, you can go to my Facebook page, which is also linked in the description always. It's facebook.com slash cutewitch772. That's my public page. You can message me there and I check that on the regular, and that would be a great place to chat privately about your thoughts around this. And then once I get an idea of people's interest and know about how many people I might be able to expect just being interested in the idea of it, then I can start to work out the specifics, and I will probably end up putting a post on my blog with all the specifics and information about how to sign up for it, and then I'll mention it in a video when that's all ready. But I just wanted to mention this today, talk about it, say happy Saturn return, and get an idea of who would be excited to do this with me so I can start planning more specifics. So thank you very much for watching. By the way, this is my other ELF vegan and cruelty-free lipstick. This is a moisturizing lipstick. It's got some sparkle in it. I decided to do my face this morning, as you can see. And yeah, now I'm gonna go get some work done and head off to rehearsal later tonight, and I will see you soon because you will get a midweek video with some just informational stuff. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye.